Gene Therapies, innovative treatments that transform lives. Around the world, medical and technological innovations are revolutionising how some diseases are treated, saving, extending and improving the lives of patients who until recently had few or no treatment options. Advances in biologic therapies such as recombinant proteins, monoclonal antibodies and immunotherapies are increasingly allowing doctors to personalise treatment according to genetic factors. This trend is being fuelled by our growing understanding of the genetic basis of many diseases, together with advances in bioengineering and computational science. Groundbreaking therapies are becoming part of clinical practice. However, because they're so transformative, to realise their full potential, health systems will need to adapt and adopt new approaches to providing patients with access. Gene therapy is one of the most important medical revolutions in the world today. Pioneering gene therapies offer the potential to durably change the course of many severe and debilitating genetic diseases, transforming the lives of thousands of patients who may otherwise have little or no hope of treatment and improving their quality of life. Gene therapy represents a radical shift in treatment. Rather than treating symptoms, Gene therapy can correct the underlying cause of disease in order to treat it or even cure it. It marks the beginning of a new era in the battle against genetic diseases. What are genetic diseases? Genetic diseases are caused by errors or mutations in a person's genes or DNA. DNA provides the code that our body uses to make the proteins it needs. Mutations in DNA can cause the body to make proteins that don't work properly. While some mutations have little effect on the body, others cause a wide variety of diseases, known as genetic diseases. Some genetic diseases are relatively mild, but others can be severe or life-threatening. Moreover, these genetic mutations can be passed on to future generations. Haemophilia, cystic fibrosis, hereditary angioedema, sickle cell disease and primary immunodeficiencies are examples of genetic diseases. How do gene therapies work? The example of haemophilia. Gene therapy aims to treat or cure disease by modifying a person's genes. It involves transferring a therapeutic or working gene into specific cells of an individual in order to repair a mutated faulty gene. A new working gene may be added or used to replace the mutated gene. Alternatively, the mutated gene may be inactivated or deleted. The term gene editing is also used to describe techniques where DNA is inserted, deleted, modified or replaced in a person's genes. Functional genes are delivered either directly into the cells in the patient's body this is called in vivo gene therapy, or into cells that have been extracted from the patient. This is called ex vivo gene therapy. The genes are introduced into the patient's cells using a virus that has been specifically engineered for this purpose. Known as vectors, these viruses have been modified so as not to cause disease. Let's take the example of haemophilia, a rare and inherited bleeding disorder that affects about 1 in 5,000 people in Haemophilia A and 1 in 30,000 people in Haemophilia B worldwide. In this disease, a single genetic mutation causes patients to lack sufficient levels of a protein, respectively called coagulation factor 8 or 9. Produced primarily by the liver, factors 8 and 9 help blood to clot. Lacking factor 8 or 9, People living with haemophilia are vulnerable to internal bleeding into their muscles, organs and joints. This can cause various complications. For example, bleeding into the joints can cause acute and chronic pain and disability. The standard care for people living with haemophilia involves regular injections of factor replacement therapy to reduce the risk of bleeds. Gene therapy for haemophilia places functional factor 8 or 9 genes in the patient's liver cells, allowing them to generate their own factors 
to protect themselves against bleeds. As a result, gene therapy in haemophilia has the potential to prevent the need for regular, lifelong factum infusions and to improve patients' quality of life. Why are gene therapies important? Gene therapies offer enormous potential. They can enhance patients' survival rates, improve their quality of life, decrease morbidity and the burden of treatment. In some cases, they can halt disease progression entirely by addressing and correcting the underlying genetic cause. Gene therapy can alleviate pressure on caregivers, allowing families to increase their social activities and work productivity, bringing benefits for them and society at large. Importantly, gene therapy is potentially given only once and yet can provide durable long-term benefit. It can offer a revolutionary approach to treating some diseases that have previously been untreatable or other diseases that currently necessitate lifelong treatment with existing therapies. Many clinical trials for gene therapies and other advanced therapy medicinal products are underway around the world. It is estimated that up to half a million patients in the European Union could receive such treatments by 2030. However, medical innovations can only succeed, bringing benefits to patients and society, if health systems are ready to support their uptake. Various challenges need to be overcome to allow gene therapies and other transformative treatments to be integrated into health systems. For example, patients' access may be hampered by difficulties in reaching the specialist treatment centres, by reimbursement and funding models that are not well suited to transformative innovations, and challenges related to their eligibility for the therapy. In order to overcome these challenges, greater levels of awareness and education about gene therapies are needed among all stakeholders. The unique potential of gene therapies will need to be recognised at the healthcare policy level, allowing the policy and regulatory environment to be optimised to enable sustainable patient access. For this to occur, appropriate assessment methods are needed to capture the clinical and economic benefits of gene therapy. This requires long-term evidence generation, particularly using patient registries to collect real-world data on the safety and effectiveness of gene therapies, including their impact on patient outcomes such as quality of life. Innovative models that reflect the long-term value of gene therapies are also needed. These must take into consideration the durability of their effects and their impact on patients, health systems and society in general. These models need to ensure the sustainability of healthcare systems while supporting early access for patients. Centres experienced in the delivery of gene therapy are also needed to provide the necessary high-quality specialised care and knowledge transfer and to help scale up capacity to drive equitable access for patients in need. Collaboration and early dialogue between manufacturers, medicines regulators, policy makers hospitals, patients, healthcare professionals and payers are key to finding solutions to these challenges and to help healthcare systems harness these revolutionary treatments. For over 100 years, CSL Bering has delivered innovative treatments to help save and improve the lives of patients with serious and life-threatening rare diseases. Building on our heritage, CSL Bering is now embracing innovation in gene therapy to bring the next wave of breakthrough medicines to people living with rare haematological disorders.